Okay, I can see the red lines on. Uh, right, so we were looking at how you develop a centre that has economic, specifically economic focus outputs. Um, but then David said we didn't need to worry about ERDF outputs, so we forgot about all that. And I think our starting point was <coughs> to generate true economic benefit from these sorts of facilities, it needs to focus on building skills and confidence. Um, and therefore, all the activities that take place in the centre need, need to start from that point. You know, and we have to recognise there's going to be some time before we get uh, a critical mass of people. Generally, just generate economic outputs. Having said that, um, you know, if we're developing a centre in a community, we need to use that centre as a as a hub itself for job creation. So let's make sure that if we develop these facilities, that they are um, in a position where they develop potential for creating jobs themselves. So you know, maybe around the caretaking different functions, those sorts of things. But also that we're we're able to train local people up to act as mentors to pass on the skills and and there may well be jobs involved in that sort of thing. And also, I think, I mean, very key, I think, that if this is an economically focused activity, then the idea of ICT recycling needs to be a key part of that. So let's use community-based hubs for ICT recycling, where you know, you're creating jobs and potential opportunities in the ICT recycling process, and then, then you're using that to knock on, to put the facilities out there, equipment out there into the community, so they can be used by people to create their own income. Um, one of the things we thought of was we obviously don't want to focus on the easy targets, but I think in the, the initial instance it is very useful to focus on the easy targets. So in any community there are entrepreneurs already, you know, some of them might, might be involved in the informal economy, but there are always entrepreneurs in any community. So we need to get out there quickly, identify who the entrepreneurs are, and then bring them in and help them to help them to use technology to grow their businesses. So help them to use technology to, to, to explore new markets, to um, research new products, um, you know, and then use those. We need effective dissemination channels so that the work we do with those entrepreneurs is fed out there into the community. Because there's nothing more powerful than say, here's somebody like you in your circumstance. Yeah, they might be a little bit further down the route, but you know, this is how we've helped them move on. We can help you move on as well. So it's about quick wins and about disseminating uh, the products of those, those quick, quick wins. Um, and I think one of the things that we, we do think we need, and this probably doesn't just apply to these sorts of centres, but all the sorts of centres we want to develop, is we need some way of independently auditing what's out there already. Because any facilities we build out there, um, we want to make sure that it has trust in the community and it has the ability to engage with people. You know? And I think the most effective way of doing that is with engaging with facilities that are already out there. But we need to make sure those facilities we engage with are those that have a good reputation, a track record of engaging, not, of not themselves being developing white elephants out there in the community for all these years. We need to be aware as well that people don't, you know, very often in these communities, people don't have learning skills. You know, their educational experiences in their early lives wasn't wasn't very positive for them. You know, we need to rebuild the process of people being able to learn. Um, one of the things we think we, we could be very effective is um, starting where people are at, engaging them through their interests, um, invite people in game playing tournaments, that sort of thing. You know. Gary's got experiences of, of doing this with the Wii, people coming in and playing Wii tennis, people coming in and playing computer games, you know, and then take them from that point back, you know, have you ever thought about how you could build your own game? You know, and uh, moving them into productive activities from that. We thought we had, we had a discussion about what facilities are already out there. Um, you know, we've got Leggy, which is very, very much grassroots, which is out there in, you know, trying to remove the barriers people have from becoming entrepreneurs. Um, and then moving them on to Business Link with business advice, and then moving on to the sort of programs that, that we'll be working with Robert on um, how you use ICT to transform business processes. You know, and so are there any gaps in that process? And what we thought was, you know, in the business arena, as in other forms of arena, the gap in the process is getting a chance to experiment. You know, we, we, in the digital inclusion agenda, we talk about people not knowing what technology can do for them until they've had a go at it. And I think this is very much the case in the business arena as well. You don't know that you have a skill that you can turn to business advantage using technology until you've had a play around at it. And so you know, we think very much, you know, I suppose these are very much like economic sand pits, really. Bring people in, give them a chance to play with things, and uh, find they've got a skill that can be used for economic benefit. Um, but what, what we're, we're very clear, we need to be very clear about if we do this, we need a structured process in place so that when people start to play around with, with these things, when they start to, you know, maybe they've made a little bit of income on the side, selling a website to a voluntary group or something like this, you know, we need to be able to pick those people up, put them through a structured process of solid business advice uh, to make sure that they actually go somewhere and they, and they do move on. 
I'm uh, running out. Okay. One of you thought about was case studies of people who started playing with technology in their bedrooms and become multimillionaires. You know, this is the sort of thing we need to sell to people. Um, we also need maybe online business structure models so people can pick these business structures up and, uh, and develop them from scratch. And the last thing I want to say is, in your ICT community ICT centre, make it a hub for the local credit union so that people can legitimise their business activity and have a banking system in place. Thank you. Anybody got any feedback for?